Let's take a look at the audit report functions included on the icon. From the main startup menu, press the settings button and select the data tab. Then press the audit report data button. This brings up the icon auditor main menu. From here, you can select one of a number of different reports, transactions, daily usage by count type, what have you. From there, the report depth allows you to specify how far back in history you want the data included in the reports you're about to generate. So I'm going to go ahead and select all dates. Lastly, I can select a variety of different filters in order to analyze that data and only include the transactions of interest. So for example, I could do an audit report that only shows C2 and C3 drugs, or only show me icon counted pills as opposed to non-countables that were um, dispensed through the icon. I can only show partial fill prescriptions. I can only show pills that were counted that were larger than a certain quantity. I can only show prescriptions filled by Fred. Or I can only get a report of all the prescriptions filled on specific dates. So you can specify these different filters, combine them as you need. One of the most common filters you might select is just key in an RX number and then hit exit and then run the report. At that point, the icon will bring up all of the report data with the various columns depending on which report you've selected and allowing you to sort the uh, change the sort order by clicking on any one of those columns and uh, analyzing the data however you see fit. So this one happens to have a lot of data so you can scroll way down to get to all of it. Again, you want to use the spatula in order to make it easier to select that small scroll bar. So after you've reviewed the data on screen, if you press the exit button, you can gain access to the main menu. You can now run a different report or change some of the filtering if you'd like. When you press the exit button, the icon prompts asking if you would like to save the reports that were generated to a USB memory stick. It's already converted the files to a, a format that can be accessed over the network and imported into whatever program you'd like on your computer system. So I'm going to say, yes, I would like to copy them to USB stick. Then it pops up the message prompting you to insert your stick, which is also making sure you've not got enough room on board the stick for the reports that you've generated.